All right, so I'm getting ready to do something different. Very, very different. Below, I am having a sale. And let's see, by the time you get this, we're gonna have this sale for 24 hours. And there's, there's gonna be a sale. And this is something I've never done before. And we're gonna see how it goes. But you can go below and you can get into this sale. That's going to give you some of the best information, some of the best training you've ever seen in your life. Just go below and you can, like I said, I'm probably going to do it for 24 hours. We will see some of the best man training on the planet. We have another failed men story. So stay tuned. This is a watch that I am selling on eBay. It's a Apple Watch. It's the Hermes watch. And the watch goes for sale today. This watch, I think it was like 1200 bucks. And, you know, it's been sitting in a drawer. And, like, one of the things that I've done, um, I don't really wear the watch. It's just literally been sitting in the drawer. And I have been cleaning out my inventory. I've been cleaning out my watches. I've been cleaning out my cameras. I've been getting rid of certain things, right? So I have this on eBay and I get this message this morning. Uh, this guy is asking for all of this information on the back of the watch, right? He's asking for this series and stuff. And I was like, the watch is in good condition. I bought it brand new. I hardly have reward. Then he comes back. If I win the watch, will you send me that information before I pay you? And I was like, oh, God. So I sent him some information to get rid of him. And like these failed men, he wouldn't go away. And I sent him some more stuff and I sent him a really detailed, demeaning message to hopefully that he doesn't bid. And if he wins, I'm not sending him the watch. I'll just send it to someone else or I relist it and sell it to someone else. Because here's the thing. The failed men know that if they don't pay on eBay or they back out of a deal, no problem, no consequences. And this is why this guy is speaking to me like this. But this got me to thinking, low expectations. And, you know, once again, uh, let me tell you the story. There was this guy that did a sculpture of a Ferrari. Well, he, he I think he 3D printed the car and then he put a Chevy engine in it. And they took a picture of it and it was a, a big thing in the car community. And... This is the thinking of failed men. Instead of going out, starting a business so you can get what you want, you want to buy it used or you want to create a replica. And this is what I call lower class thinking. Lower class thinking leads to a lower class expectations because this is some, and please put this in the comments. Why do so many failed men think that someone's out to get them? Like, you know, I got the box, you know, th this is one of the things I have learned from years. And I mean, years since 2009 of buying Apple products, I have bought several Apple products, MacBook Pros, several iMacs. Now I have a Mac Pro and a 32 inch monitor. My years of buying Apple products, I've never had anything fail on me. It's never failed on me. I would buy, if I was in the position with the knowledge base that I have, I would buy a used Apple, no problem. But once again, the failed men, they don't have the money to buy what they want. So they're full of fear, doubt. They think someone's trying to get over on them. And this is why I get these responses. And this is why I try to run these people off. Because when you have low class thinking, when you have the mindset that everyone's out to get you 
all of these women, a.k.a. the 304s. And someone actually put this in the comment. Well, the passport bras are going to these different countries to get women with traditional values. I started laughing. I started laughing. Let me explain to you why. Traditional values mean that you're going to be the man, you're going to be the man of the house, you can pay all the bills. <laughs> so they want a woman that has traditional values, but as a man, they don't want to bring traditional values to the situation. Or they want to go, I'm going to say it, they want to go live in a substandard living country where the price of living is cheaper so they can their money can go further because they can't make it here in the United States. Did you hear me? They, they can't make it here in the United States. So this is why they want to run to a cheap foreign country because they can't make it here in the United States. And, you know, I, I hear all this stuff, right? And with the failed men who are running for responsibility, and that, that's why I was like, they're going to look for a woman that has traditional values. I was sitting there like, let me, let me explain something to you. Let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say you worked hard, you built a business, you became a millionaire, you bought a house, and you had all the money that you needed, all the money, and that you were a masculine man, masculine man, masculine man, right? And you were doing something really different, you were building something very different. You, you were very masculine. You went to the gym. You worked out. You weren't fat. You were decent looking. And you understood that how women worked. If you were this man, you could go out on a Saturday, go to a table of women, and make this announcement. Um, I'm a traditional man, and I'm looking for a traditional woman meaning that I pay all the bills and my wife will stay home with the children. How many of you would be interested? You will see hands shooting up like crazy. So I find it funny that someone who doesn't want to act like a traditional man in the United States of America wants to go to a foreign country so he can get a woman with traditional values. <laughs> that just, that, that cracks me up. It's like, you don't want to be traditional, but you want traditional. It's funny. But going back to the failed men, because right now, like I said, I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. I'm selling stuff on eBay. And also, there's two customers on eBay, because once again, um, I actually, you know, like I said, I, 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 this is the Hermes watch. I, I really don't care about this watch. I really don't care. So... With the 99 cent bid, it's going to go today. It's going to go pretty cheaply. I don't care. But one of the things I have seen is when you put up something for bid, it's like a siren call for the failed men. They will come in and they will ask you all of these demeaning questions because they have not seen any success in life. They have not been able to do the things that they needed to do to make money in life. They've just not been able to do this. So anytime you put up an item, a very nice item up at a 99 cent auction, they're going to come out the woodwork in a better way. And this is how I've sold a lot of the other stuff is to do a buy it. Now you get a different class of customer and you usually get more money. So, my uh, auctions are going to end today and then I'm pretty much going to do buy it now to get rid of this stuff. Because when I put up a buy it now, I don't get these crazy questions of from these failed men, because essentially. Uh, let me kind of go back in time. I know what it's like to want a nice car. I know what that's like. I know what it feels like. I know what it tastes like. I know what it's like, right? And I have no problem with someone who's in a lower social economic status 
that wants a nice car, that wants to do certain things, that wants to build. I have no problem with that. But what I have a problem with is like there's the, the these guys who get these. Well, it's not a problem. It's a it's it's an observation. These guys who get these Hondas and tune them and put the big exhaust on them and they do everything they can to make them go faster. To me, that's. You know, like like I said, I saw my first Porsche, my first, the first the Porsche I wanted. I saw it in 2017 in 2020. I went out and got myself one. So what was different between me and the, the tuner boys? I know how America works. So I went ahead. I did things in my business and I got the money where I can go out and buy a brand new Porsche to me, even though it was used. I could pay cash for it. And then I, I felt the need to get some a little faster. So I went ahead and um, I paid cash for a second one. I traded the first one in. Then I got another one. And then uh, I really enjoyed that car. And then I was like, you know what? I want me a new Porsche. And then I went ahead and I ordered one. And the failed men of society do not understand the power of being able to control and activate your life. They feel that this is a government. Like I, I put up my, or put up the recent video this morning talking about the fake housing crisis. And it's like, you forget Generation G, like once again. And I use Boston and I see some of you actually know that the Boston housing market has been ridiculous for decades and the people who want to live in Boston and the buy a house in Boston, they have made adjustments. And this is what people in the American housing market are going to do. They're going to make adjustments. Their housing prices are not going to crash in their house. And right now there's all kinds of builders building new communities and it's still not enough because there's so many people who want to own a house. And you know, all of these, uh, once again, low class thinking. I'm probably going to do a few videos on this. Low class thinking. You feel like, once again, just me. You feel that um, what President Biden does, what the leaders of these foreign countries do, impacts you, right? I don't feel that way. I don't care what Joe Biden does. He ain't going to stop me from getting my money. And many of you feel that the president or someone else who does this. Once again, this is the example of low class thinking, because um, you will think that all of these things are out to get you. They're doing to do things. They're going to mess you up. And like all of these folks who are on TikTok talking about the price of rent, the price of eggs, the price of dog food is too much. Let me just say something. These people were failures before the pandemic. Because I, I went ahead and checked some stuff. I, my life insurance didn't, my health insurance did not go up. My life insurance did not go up. My car insurance did not go up. Uh, essentially, I did an inventory on the things. Because once again, um, like food, I spend crazy money on food. You see the American Express gold card in there. That that I use that card a lot because I typically eat out and order food, which is more expensive than going to the grocery store. So the price of food doesn't concern me, you know. And one of the things that I'm beginning to see, one of the things that I'm, I'm beginning to understand is social media gives a voice to people who have failed to express their frustration at failing versus seeking a solution to solve the problem. And this is where we are. This is where we are. We have so many people who are failures. And I, I saw a comment is like, you know, making videos saying people are dumb and stupid. Like for those of you who've been around for a while, 
you know how I used to bring the conversation. Like, you know, one of the things I started this YouTube channel and I was like putting stuff up here about how to beat child support, all this other stuff to help out the common man. Let me explain to you what I have learned. I right now have people who are upset and angry at me because I have left the space of the loser. I literally have people sending me weird and strange and twisted emails because they're jealous because here's the thing. I started this YouTube channel 2009. There are people who started following me in 2009 who are still, who are still in the same position that they were in 2009 here in 2023. And these folks feel you know, because I have people upset that uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of the training. You just can't access it. And these folks are mad. But 2009 to 2023, that's that's for, what, 13 years, 14 years. And you still haven't got your raggedy ass together. Let me go ahead and explain something. I've come to some new thoughts and, you know. Once again, like with this person on this watch, the lower class will forever be the lower class. They will forever. They're not going to move. They're not going to change. I remember this statement. I don't know who said it, but it's like the social economic class that you're born in is more than likely the social economic class that you will die in. And. Um, yeah. I, I believe that. I believe that with a great deal of enthusiasm, energy and gusto, because, you know, once again, there's two classes of societies. And I will do a whole video on this because um, one of the things that I see that's really interesting is how people will complain first the, the process of the lower thought process, which leads to um, lower situations, lead to lower outcomes, lead to lower expectations. Um, I'm beginning to see some that the people who are in the lower social economic status, they're going to stay there. They're just going to stay there. They're not going to move up. They're not going to do anything because here's the thing. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the work. Uh, my video that I knew wasn't going to get a lot of views, that you need education to be a millionaire. Whole bunch of people hate that video because they think that they can be uneducated, have a bunch of poor mindset thoughts, not be active, not be working, not do certain things. And these folks feel that they can get rich just because someone's claim it. Just claim it. Who here going to be a millionaire next year? The fools. I am. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. The smart people like, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. But once again, one of the things that we see, and one of the things that we have a big problem with is people who are out here failing and they want to go ahead and continue to rally rank come here on social media talk about their failures and then harass people who are trying to sell stuff on ebay who are trying to sell stuff on ebay i call it harassment because the thing is when i'm rude the first time they don't go away and this lets me know that I'm dealing with a lower class person, because when you're dealing with a high class person and you're rude to them, they're like, I'm getting away from this person. Like when I'm out in traffic and someone cuts me off, you know what I do? I hit the brakes and I get away from that person. I will never be a victim of road rage because I'm not going to be messing with folks. And the other day this this happened. There was this fool who's driving this raggedy car and he came way too close to my Porsche. And I just hit the brakes and I let him go. And you know what he did? He stopped. And I was like, and I just put my car in reverse and I got out of there and I went in another direction. 
This fool was going to try to hit my car because he's mad. He's angry. Go back to the woman who walks her dogs and there ain't nobody happy but the crackheads and the millionaires. And the level of hate that you get for being successful, for doing the right things, for maintaining. Oh, I, I mean, seriously, it, it's kind of incredible. And this is one of the reasons that I am getting out of the city. Because uh, I'm going to do a whole set of videos on that because um, that's going to be worthy. But once again, the failed men are out here and they're like rocking and rolling and they're trying to do the most, man. They're trying to do the most.